Brian, when we usually do these, we ease into them. How you feeling at the plate? How you feeling physically? We got to get right to last night with Strauss coming back to the dugout and dancing. Your look was maybe the, one of the best parts about it. When he came down the stairs, you high-fived him, and then you just kind of looked down the dugout like, is this going to happen? <laughs> Tell us about the dugout last night and yeah. Steven Strasburg dancing after the home run. Yeah, I think they asked me after the game what I thought and what my grade was, and I told them I, it's a judgment-free zone in the dugout. You don't want to grade anyone because at some point you're going to have to dance too. So, uh, But what a night for Steven, obviously the way he threw the ball on the mound. But... You know, to see him get those hits and obviously the home run, it's, uh, you know, we're having a lot of fun as a team and it's just a great group of guys. Yeah, tell me about that. How much fun you are you having? And Max yeah. said a couple weeks ago it's the most fun he's had here. You yeah. don't want to compare teams, but talk about the mood right now, the clubhouse, and how much fun you guys are having. Well, I mean, I think, first of all, winning makes everything, everything a lot more fun. But um, just the group of guys, we have a great mix of veteran guys and young guys. We all get along. We all hang out together. Um, you know, it's, it reminds me a lot of the 2012 team where, um, you know, you had some personalities like like Para and things like that that keep everybody loose, but also everyone kind of knows their role. You have really good players that are really good at doing what they're supposed to do, and everyone just kind of does their job. And I think that's kind of what we've been doing for the last pretty much two months now, and it's uh, it's been fun to be a part of. It's a nice mix of veterans and young guys, and, and, and did you guys ever panic in April and May? I don't think we panic. I think Davey does a really good job with that. I don't think he gets enough credit. I've said that about him from day one. I think last year, obviously, we went through a bunch of bunch of stuff, and you know, this year at the beginning of the year, you know, people saying he should get fired, things like that. Um, you know, Davey's the same guy every day. I think uh, you know he's he's always positive. He's always in a good mood, and he's always, you know, steady. So I think when your manager's like that, it's hard for the players to, to panic. So, uh, you know, that's one thing I've always said about and admired about him is he's uh, he stayed true to what he said he was going to be like, and not many managers do that. Sounds like somebody else I know. The <laughs> same guy every day, always positive. <laughs> We'll talk about it. We're going to talk about you for a second, then we're going to do that word association thing that we did yeah. about seven years ago now. Yeah. Uh, your thousandth RBI, what it meant to you and what it meant to do it on the same team. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I never, you never think you're going to get to do things like that. You never think you're going to play in the big leagues, honestly. But to be able to, to stick around as long as I have, um, to be able to do it all with one team is, is something I'm very proud of. It's something that, you know, when I had the decision to kind of, Signed that first contract, and you know it's something that I kind of wanted to do. I wanted to be here, and now it's, you know, it's part. Of, I think it was one of the coolest things I've done in my career is play, play all my games for one team, and to have a thousand RBIs and and uh, you know do the things that I've been able to do here. Uh, I feel very lucky and, and humbled by it. Well, it's been fun to watch you every day for nine years, and maybe. In another five or six years, when you shut it down, we'll do some games together up in the booth. Perfect. Five or six, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, we're going to do the, this is a fun part of the, uh, the interview right now. We'll do All the right. word association. I'm going to say a player. We, I looked this up. We did this in April of 2013. Okay. So now here we are in July of 2019, and we're going to do it all over again. It'll be just as easy, I'm sure. <laughs> It'll be just as easy. All right, here we go. I'm going to say a name. You say the first thing that pops up. Max. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> one for one. <laughs> one for one. Uh, do. Glasses. All right. Anthony Rendon. Uh, under undervalued. Trey Turner. Speed. Big city. Smile. He's, he's always a happy guy. I love that guy. He is. He's fun to be around. All right. I don't know if you remember what you said in 2013. Kurt Suzuki. Uh, great teammate. You said clutch, but okay. great teammate he's might even. He's still clutch, too. <laughs> yeah, right. So he's still both. <laughs> uh, Juan Soto. Infectious. Really? Oh, Like I just his, the way he plays the game, how much fun he has. Uh, you know, he plays like a... 20 year old should play. He's having fun every yeah, night. Every single night he has fun. He, he, I feel like he enjoys every single at bat. He's he's fun to be around. It's hard to have fun every night, isn't it? It's a hard game. Right. <laughs> well, it's not too hard for him. Uh, but, he makes it look yeah. easy and he's, he enjoys every yeah. minute. Victor Robles. Uh, gosh. Five, five tool. Adam Eaton. Grinder. Brian Dozier. Professional. Yes, that's a good answer. All right, Gerardo Parra. A savvy veteran. 
two words, but I feel like he does – even when he doesn't play, he impacts the team somehow. Talk about that. I know we're playing yeah. the word game. Talk about uh, the Par. Everybody wants to hear about it. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, and there's all on good teams. There's always one or, or a few guys like that. Um, you know, you're talking about a guy who's won Gold Gloves, who's done lots of things as an everyday player in the big leagues, and to be able to now kind of transform your career into. You know, he starts every now and then, but he gets big pinch hits, and you know, it's not easy to do that when you were once a really good everyday player. So I think to be able to kind of know, not that he couldn't play every day maybe for some team, but you know, he be, he's the best at what he needs to be for the team. He's, he, you know, it's so unselfish and uh, it's not easy to do that. I think a lot of people would still want to play every day. You know, for him to come over here and do what he's done for this team and whatever we need him to do, if it's a start or a pinch hit, he's, he's more than willing to do it. He's always prepared and ready. and. And obviously, you know, everyone sees the stuff in the dugout, and um, he's just a fun guy to be around. Right. You guys are having fun. It's been fun to watch. I'm going to say one more name, and then we're going to wrap this up. Bob Carpenter. <laughs> uh, I'll go with the easy one, the see you later, but then also golf. This guy plays more <laughs> golf than anyone I've ever seen. When I grow up, I want to be Bob Carpenter. <laughs> That's outstanding. Ryan, thanks for taking time. Hopefully, you get to dance in the dugout tonight. Oh, 